giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and the sincere shalom and the doctrine that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. I would first and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving, me, for giving me and a fellow Akim the opportunity to do these lessons in these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all terrify and warn the nations of Israel, <clears throat> the nations of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. The ones that lost, that's his commandments as well as the promises we'll give it to you. Just show them So this is a, um, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, this is put up by a brother, um, Salak, if I'm saying this wrong, uh, the first one, the first name wrong, uh, I want to say Aran or Aharon Amoth. So it's Aran Amoth GA, all right? And uh, he was going into uh, this thing. Uh, they bought smart guillotines. All right, they're smart guillotines, which is no surprise. I mean, they gotta they gotta up the technology and everything, right? He was going into uh, smart guillotines and box cars with shackles uh, purchased. All right, <clears throat> and he was going into you know you you know you want to check out his video. He was going into going into it in detail, which is why I'm not going to go into it all too much. Um. But, you know, this is straight prophecy, man. This is straight prophecy. So what this smart guillotine pretty much is supposed to do is it's supposed to, um, first off, it, it, it operates without anybody operating it. So it's, it's just a straight robot or a machine. So once it, 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 it detects the neck of, a, of, the, of the person and, um, and then it has facial recognition. So it makes sure it has the right person. So, you know, just in case they don't, uh, you know, you know, lop off the, the wrong person, you know? So, Hey man, it's no surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's no surprise. And again, man, one thing we understand it's the Lord. Y'all about Shem Y'all shot putting the spirit on them to do this. But why are they doing this, man? Why, why are they buying a whole bunch of guillotines? man? If they're not going to use them, you know, and this is some, something that you can't discuss with Jake, man. You know, they just go ahead. They going to have to find out for themselves, man. And when they do find out, like the brother was saying, this is one of the ways they're going to scare people into taking the MOTB. Do you see you see how how scared people got, you know, when it when it just when it came to this, to this um, you know, the jump shots. So you can only imagine when they start threatening you with, with, with guillotines and throwing you a prison and stuff like that. You can only imagine how many people are going to comply to that shit, man. And we got to pray, because it's easy for us to say right now, man. You know, that's why we got to pray to make sure we we get, we keep our spirits right, man. But then we, you know, what, all, what we always think about, too, is like, well, let's say we do take it. You know, let's say we do take the MOTB. You still got to be living here in this hell. And then, and then what's worse, you're going to get the judgment of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, which I'm going to read in a second. So why would you do that? You know, you know, why, why, why would you do that? You know, versus a simple beheading versus well, what I'm getting ready to read in a second. But first, before I get that, um, before I do get that, let's go ahead and get this scripture. All right. This is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 13, verse 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause cause that is many is would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right again man that's that that's that word caused again all right so whoever don't worship whoever don't worship uh the image of the beast you know he said it's, it's going to be killed man and, and and you know not just physically killed but spiritually killed pretty much exiled out, out of out of pretty much society pretty much exiled out of society you know you're not going. You're not going to be able to do nothing, man. You're just going to be a, a straight up outcast. Verse thirteen, which we already pretty much are, but I'm talking about like you're not going to be able to go buy anything. You're not going to be able to do shit, man. So that's part of that that killing you, man. You know you got physical and spiritually is spiritually killing, man. And these people out here spiritually dead. All right. Verse uh, sixteen, it says, and he took the Cause of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And what's part of that causing? You know, when they really start showing their horns, man, part of that that causing is that shit. 
smart guillotines and stuff like that, man. You know, FEMA camps and all, all types of shit, man. How they gonna cause uh, Jake to, to, to err, man? How they gonna cause him to go off? You know, you see what they, you, again, man, you see what the hell they doing simply just with this, with this jump shot. You got people walking around with face masks on and shit, man. I'm talking about like the little, the little glass shield face o o over there, over their face, man. It's like, damn, man, like you that scared of a, of a, of a virus. You know, maybe you should be out then. Just keep your ass home. You know, verse thirty, and nobody sees nothing wrong with that. Like, damn, you know what, what's, what's going on with that? You know, verse seventeen. That's why this double gotta go, man. That's why this double gotta pay, man. That's why he gotta get out of power. Cause everything he does, he just pollutes, man. All he he's born to pollute. He pollutes your food. He pollutes your air. He pollutes your water. He pollute every goddamn thing, man. You know, then we walking around here with just dirty as hell, man. You know, we don't know what the hell type chemicals is in our bodies, man. We should we should all be we should all be dead right about now, man. With with the amount of pollution that's going on right now, you know, we should all be dead. You know, they, they gelling you up. And yet we still living. That's why this double, he's he's pushing. He's pushing harder and harder and harder. Until he gets up to that point, it's like, man, martial law, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. Then that then that's gonna be the ultimate, man. This shit that's going on right now in in in, in you know Ukraine or whatever, Russia, Ukraine, that's a that's a build up, man. You know, that's a build up. All right, it's all part of prophecy. That's moving prophecy forward. All right. Verse 17, it says, and that no man might buy or sell. See if he now that's again, man. What did I just now say? That's part of the killing. You know, you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell. You ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing. All right, save he that had the mark or the, or the name of, of the beast or the number of his name. All right, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get the next scripture in the book of, um, it's still in the book of Revelation. It's still in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. Okay, yeah, verse 9. Now, this is this is the part that you see here, you know, doom for, for worshipers of the beast, man. This is for you people, you know, that did that didn't have faith. You know, and again, we pray that we do, that we continue to have faith. The elect is gonna have faith no matter what. We just don't know who the elect is. That's why I keep saying we pray to to you know, you know, make our call in an election sure, man. You know. Um verse uh, this is uh Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. It says, and now which sounds worse, man? A simple beheading, maybe, maybe, maybe some interrogation, you know, tactics or whatever, you know, while while you're in there, tribulation to uh ten days, and which that ten days is just a number of time. It could be directly ten days. It could be less than ten days. Fuck it, it could be a year, you know. You just never know. It's just a, it's just a a, a a amount of time. All right, and not all of us is going to fall by a guillotine, man. Not all of us is going to fall. Some of us may not die, man. Some of us aren't going to die, you know. But that's not our mindset, whether we do or don't. That's not our mindset. Our mindset is getting the hell home, man. Getting the fuck up out, the, out of here, man. And making our call in an election, sure. You know. Verse, uh, this is, again, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of of the most high now it's already sounded pretty bad right it's already sounded it sounds worse than the, than the guillotine so far right it says which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation now what is indignation it said it's poured without mixture that's wrath Pour it without mixture. Now, that that means no mixed feelings. That means straight up anger. Here we go. Indignation. That's straight up indignation. Anger, wrath, indignation. Anger um, exhibited in punishment, hence used for punishment itself. Of punishments inflicted by magistrates. All right. Anger, the natural disposition, temper, character, movement of agitation. Of the soul, impulse, desire, any violent 
any violent emotion, but especially anger. So this, these are all those. Anybody that say the Lord don't hate, you know, the Lord loves all. What is this talking about, man? You know, what is this talking about? The Lord is going to show his straight up anger, man. He's going to show his emotion. People tend to overlook these scriptures. You Christian pastors, y'all don't read these scriptures. Y'all don't read Revelation any damn way. Which is why y'all gonna be a lot of y'all gonna be the ones to take the take that MOTB. Y'all see a, a guillotine. Y'all going faint, man. Like, oh shit, man. I don't want that. You know? Y'all going faint, man. And y'all don't read the book of Revelation, man. You know? Y'all don't teach the book of Revelation. So the, the, the Lord said. That's straight anger, man. That's emotion. You can say, oh, the Lord got emotional. You could, you could, you could say the Lord is going to get emotional. That's the Lord being emotional. When he starts bringing fire, when he starts, when this shit that's happening right now all around the world, that's the Lord being emotional, if you want to say that, man. That's anger. That's anger. Really, men are the emotional ones, man. You know, because we're the ones that, are, that, are, that run shit. We're the ones that, you know... You know, we we were the ones that that war, man. You know, so really, to be honest, because a woman's supposed to be quiet, man. You know, the men are really the, the support, pretty much the emotional ones. That's why we show the most emotion when we cut when it comes to women, when it comes to really anything, man. When it comes to war, you know, primarily this truth. What do, what do you think? What do you think that is when we when we get into an altercation and we start debating the scriptures, man? That's emotion. You know, <laughs> that's emotion because you start feeling it. You start feeling it. And it's like, nah, man, you, you know what, man? The Lord going to deal with you. What do you what do you think? we? What do you think that is when we say, man, look, the Lord going to deal with every last one of you. One of you uh, uh, evil ass niggas, man. You know, what do you think that is? That's emotion. So it's the same thing with this. Indignation. Anger is an emotion. That sounds like Malachi. The people whom I have indignation towards forever, that's anger. You know, that's emotion. You can so if you want to say the Lord got emotional, yeah, he got emotion. He's getting emo he's emotional. <laughs> I mean, you know, we got emotions. Well, you know, how much how much the Lord? And this is the ultimate emotion right here, man. This is the ultimate show of his emotion. That's what I meant to say. It's the ultimate show of his emotion. He said, he said, what? It's going to be poured into his wrath is going to be poured into a cup without mixture. Right? Of his indignation. Straight up rage. Right? It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So what do you think that is? That doesn't sound good at all, man. That doesn't sound good at all. That that's Nah, verse 11, it says, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up uh, forever and ever. <laughs> man, the Lord, go, <laughs> the Lord over here taught about tormenting people, man. The Lord is over here talking about tormenting people, torture. Torturing you with that fire, man. But the Lord is not emotion. The, the Lord, the Lord is, uh. Don't don't hate. You know anybody read this, you'd be like, man, damn, man, the Lord got mental issues. <laughs> you know, he got a he got a torturous state of mind. Yes, yes, because when Israelites get back in power, man, that's the state of mind we gonna have. We pretty much already got it now, but to be honest. You know, because that's why the Lord didn't didn't aren't, isn't allowing it right now. Because none of us is, has this spirit as to putting people to death as of right now. All right, and that's why the Lord didn't didn't do it. That's why the Lord didn't ain't allowing us to do it. The Lord is going to give us that spirit. So while we talk about it and angry, how angry, how angry we are, we are at this place and how much we want this place to fall and this devil to go down, we ain't got that. We don't have that spirit yet. All right. But the Lord is the one that's going to give us that spirit to be to be putting people to death, man. You know, especially these damn Edomites, man. 
And I might get flagged for saying that, but especially these damn Edomites, man. I get, I have flagged uh, on my on my other channel, you know, for whatever reason. Yet they could go over here, bomb other countries. They can do whatever it is they want to do. They could they could have our women, and they so like they can have our men dress up the way they do. They can have our women dress up the way they do, you know. They could pollute your water. They could pollute your food. They could pollute your air, you know. They could post up bullshit, bullshit restaurant, Chinese restaurants in the, in, the, in so-called black communities. And, of course, black people ain't got nothing to say about that. You know? They could torture you. You know, they could, they could, they could alter the minds of your children. And thinking that they fucking animals and shit. You know? But nobody has nothing to say. With it. That's why this place got to go, man. That's why these, these scriptures have to, have to come, have to go, you know... That's why this has to happen, man. You know, that's why the prophecy has to happen. <clears throat> so these smart, these smart guillotines, <laughs> that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. Because this double knows that his time is almost up, man. This double has to get up power, man. Right? And like the brother was saying on his video, a lot of a lot of those those high position people in the in the in the, in the government. You know those those congressmen and women, those uh, those presidents and those you know your, whoever else, man. You know they they y'all going they going to come after y'all too, man. So hey, man, look, man, nobody knows what the Lord has in store. Well, they don't know exactly detail by detail. That's and this is why this devil has so much of a hard time, you know, with this shit, man. Because it's like, well, damn, that why 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 ain't it why is this not working and why is that not working? Because the Lord is switching shit up, man. So while these devils think, yeah, yeah, we got this shit. We got this shit. Nah, the Lord got other plans. You know, the, the Lord is constantly reminding them that, first off, I set Satan up over you, but I am in charge. Right? The Lord is constantly reminding people in general, man. You know? that nah, I got control over Satan too. <laughs> so what you going to do? You can't, you can't, there's no wisdom, no counsel, no understanding against the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. It is what it is, right? Anyway, I must finish off 11, verse 11. It says, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no, it's like, yep, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast or his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. All right. So, okay. Yeah, here, this is a good one. Verse 12, it says, here is the patience of the saints. It says, who, who are the saints? That would be the elect, man. The Israelites, but within the Israelites would be the elect. All right. First, all right. It says, here are the, here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High. All right. And the faith of Yahweh Shai. So that's why that it explained who the saints were. The, the elect. Because the elect is the only ones that are going to do that. All right? Anyway.